Hey, what's up YouTube and GPK fam? It's your boy Retro Hero back again doing Garbage Pail Kids Show and Tell. This one's number 12. In today's episode, we're going to do some show and tell of what came in the mail, some foreign items, give a thank you for a nice trade I had with somebody from the Garbage Pail Kid Marketplace Forum. We're of course going to give away that GPK next sketch card to a lucky subscriber and talk about my next subscriber giveaway. We're going to also talk about GPK on a budget. I'm sure you collectors out there have been thinking, wow, prices of wax packs for original series and boxes, man, they're on the rise. So I'm going to give you some 2019 quarter four numbers, some 2020 quarter one numbers, and talk about the prices of these today. What's going on in the market? I'm going to give you my opinion on that. If we have some time, we're going to tear into a jumbo pack and possibly some brand new Series 2 cards, hoping to get a hit. So sit back, relax, and let's have some fun. Welcome back. Let's jump right into this week's giveaway. This is a business sketch card from Topps artist GPK Nick. If you would like to follow him, that's GPK N I K exclamation point exclamation point at garbage.pale.nick. And this is Chris Hiss. It is a beautiful card. And thank you again to Nick for supporting my channel and helping me give away a few items. How do you get entered into the giveaway? Well, you need to be a subscriber. Leave me a comment, hit that like button, and we'll enter you into a weekly giveaway. So this week we are pulling the winner and it is LJG Lewis. So LJG Lewis, congratulations. You are the winner for this week's giveaway, which is a business sketch card from Topps Artist GPK Nick. So in the next few weeks, we're going to be giving away this original series ninth wax pack. This is unopened, so that will be our next giveaway. And as I'm sure you see in the back, once we receive or once I reach 250 subscribers, I will be giving away this 1985 original series number 8A Adam Bomb. Now this is graded an eight, which is near mint to mint by PSA. And this will be the next giveaway. So I have been receiving lots of comments. Lots of people want to be entered into this giveaway. I don't blame you. It's a beautiful card. And if you're a collector, well, this is the easiest way to GPK on a budget. But please keep in mind, you need to hit that subscribe button. What happens when you do that? I get an email from YouTube, Google email and it tells me you are a subscriber, then I write your name down and I put you in a bucket. So again, once we reach 250 subscribers, we will be giving away this Adam Bomb card. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and let's move into the video. Jumping into the show and tell portion of today's video, Again, my boy, GPK Till Death, seems to be a guy I'm picking up a lot of stuff from lately. Although I will tell you in the upcoming weeks, I have some really neat things coming a half a world away, a few things from Israel, Russia, so on and so forth. But continuing on my foreign garbage pail kid trend, I picked up some of these Norwegian cards. Again, how do you know they are Norwegian and not tops? Regina is basically the paper stock on the back of the card. And I'll let you take a look. So here is the trademark. Of course, you can see that where it says 1985 Tops Chewing Gum Incorporated. But if you look at this paper stock, and I'm trying to get this as close as you can, you're going to notice that this is just completely different than the matte back cards. And that is how you will be able to know they are Norwegian cards, which are much more uncommon than the standard 
And again, I'm all about some uncommon foreign cards. I would like to add, continue to add more of these to my collection. They are just getting a little bit harder to find. But let's go through these. Here's my boy Brett Sweat. Really nice condition for his card. He's got a little nick there in the corner, as you can see. But a beautiful card. There's Brett Sweat. Iconic split kit. My boy Dead Fred there. And then his girlfriend, Leaky Lindsay. <laughs> Such an iconic card. There's Gluey Gabe to go with Leaky Lindsay, boyfriend, girlfriend. Liberty Libby, another iconic card. <laughs> Got my girl, Large Marge. And that is Fat Pat's girlfriend. And then Janet Planet right here. Janet Planet, such an iconic card. So many people collect her. A lot of sketch cards done of her. Beautiful, beautiful card, Janet Planet. So there's some Norwegian updates that I have to share with you. We're going to jump right over to a couple other Garbage Gang cards. Now, I thought these were neat. Um, by no means are these mint. These are going to be 1987 tops. Uh, but they have the neat borders. They are the garbage gang. I've got Dead Ed, or excuse me, Dead and Kit. Ike Spike. Ike Spike. Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Dental Hygiene. Got a little mark in the back. Looks like someone maybe wrote their name on him. Touch Tony. Puzzle Back. And Vomit Ted. So Vomit Ted. Sorry for the glare there. And that is a checklist back for Vomit Ted. So it is okay when you're getting some foreign cards in these types of conditions. A lot of times, you know, in different countries, people didn't have the card protections that we in the U.S. had in the 80s. You know, we had those penny sleeves. We had hard containers. We had the nine pocket sleeves that were all over the place. A lot of other countries didn't have that. So finding cards that maybe have some writing on them, some ding corners, that is okay. Of course, if you can find a mint card, uh, congratulations. You definitely want to make sure you keep that. So I got another hollow foil from uh, Basaritas and Monster Monsters and Basaritas. This one is Brutal Brad. I do like these hollow foil. And again, they are very uncommon to come across. There's the back there, the hollow foil. You can see that the card is pressed. And again, beautiful hollow foil card, Brutal Brad. He threw in a nice little freebie as well. I believe this is just a promo card for the trading card binder from Basaritas and Monsters. Um, just a nice addition. Thought I would throw that in a hard plastic container and, of course, keep that. So Facebook Marketplace or Facebook Garbage Pail Kid Marketplace worked a nice little trade deal with Jen G. And I won't give you her full last name. She does go by Jen G. For those of you out there that know her, she is awesome. You need to complete your sets. Jen is usually one of the first people to respond. Really great gal. And she needed a couple cards. I just said, hey, throw me a few cards. You know, you always hook me up. So, and she did, and she really hooked me up again. So um, this is announcing Adam. So I really like this card. Anything with Adam Bomb is amazing. This is from the Garbage Pail Kids 2019 was the worst. And again, announcing Adam. Um, was stoked to get these. So Garbage Pizza Kids, these and Garbage Pizza Kids, these are promo cards from Showbiz Pizza. And she gave me Trampolin Travis and Joe Biz Pizza. And uh, 1980A, 1980B, if you look on the back, they do say showbizpizza.com, a place where a kid can be a kid. Yeah, I remember those commercials from when I was a kid. Um, my parents wouldn't take me there because, you know, that was a waste of money. But uh, number one online resource for everything showbiz, pizza place, Chuck E. Cheese. Um, since 1999, these are 2015 Showbiz Pizza cards. I'm assuming if you went into a Chuck E. Cheese or a Showbiz Pizza, basically you won some tickets for a game and you could pick up these cards. So welcome addition to my collection. Thank you, Jen. Last one, Heavyweight Harry. <laughs> really cool character. You know, Jen, it's almost like you just know me and know what kind of characters I like. So Awesome. Thank you so much. Wonderful trade. Wonderful cards that you gave me. And a welcome addition to my collection. 
Uh, you know, I did mention in the pre-log we were going to talk about um, Garbage Pail Kid card prices. Um, I can't mention this enough. You know, married, got a couple kids, a senior and one in college. Um, it's about GPK on a budget for my family. We do have a monthly budget. I try to stay within that unless, of course, some new series are coming out or if I think I can get away with it with my wife. But uh um, series two and a series three pack. Why did I pull these out? Well, I did just a little bit of research. So let me grab a few of these and we'll kind of talk about where prices have gone recently and why I think those prices are as follows. So let me grab my little paper here and we will talk about some prices. So, um, the average sales price over 60 days, I did a quarter four 2019, which is the last three months in 2019 and a quarter one 2020. Just to give you some rules, I did throw out the highest and the lowest bail, uh, sale to get a better average. The wax packs had to be sealed in good condition, non-graded, no visible damage. Um, and I did take a lot deal average if the pack was all the same series. So if someone was selling three or four, uh, series three in a lot and the final purchase price was such and such. I did include that. As far as boxes go, I wanted the box to be in good condition, no damage to the wax pack, non-graded or BBCE authenticated. Had to be 48 packs in the box. I didn't include whether or not there was a poster, of course, because most boxes don't have those. And shipping price wasn't included in any of these averages. So this Series 2 pack um, known as OS2 1985, a 48-count box, a 2020 60-day average, five sales, was about $13.65 or $28.44 per wax pack. So 48-count 2020 60-day average, that's 2020 quarter one 60-day average, was $13.65 a box or $28.44 a wax pack. Now, wax pack singles, there was about 25 sales in quarter one. They ran $25.28 per pack. And compare this to the 2019 quarter four data. The, the wax box in the last three months of quarter four, seven sales was $985.72 for a box of these versus the 1365 and quarter one 2020. And wax pack singles were $22.31. There was 33 sales in quarter four. And that is versus the 2528. So there is an increase in, of course, your OS2. Now let's look at current for 2020. And I just picked a couple sales. There's approximately about 30 sales of OS2. Now, you know what I said before, they were 25, 28. They are now up to $38.07 a wax pack. So the same condition, same thing, $38.07 per wax pack. So that's quite an increase. You're talking almost 35% in just a few months. Now, Series three, I'll try to go through this a little faster. Um, 48 count box, 2020 quarter one, 60 day average, 11 sales. The boxes was about $177.50 or $3.70 a pack. Now 2020 wax pack singles, 24 sales, average is 464 per wax pack. And that did include some lot sales in there. Now comparing these, sales 177.50 a box and 464 a wax pack to the 2019 quarter four data last three quarter or months in 2019 box sales were about 159 versus 177 and wax pack singles were 452 versus 464 so you can see as the years go on and months go on these will go up in value and they have gone up in value now let's look at the last 45 days on this original series three. Wax pack singles, I picked 13 sales. They went up to $4.92. So, okay, $4.64, $4.92, not a huge jump. But boxes went from $177 to $270.38. 
And you see some buy it nows out there now for almost $1,000 on these Series 3. So I gave you a whole bunch of numbers. You all know I'm a big banking nerd, right? So apologize about that. But why do we have the increase in garbage pail kid wax boxes and or wax packs, full count boxes and single wax packs? Well, here's my thought. There was a small stimulus. People were at home. People have more of an opportunity to um, look online for good deals or look online or get into a new hobby. And of course, Chrome 3. Chrome 3 was announced that we're coming out. That is the third series. All of a sudden, there's a big resurgence for Chrome 2. I think all these items or all this put together is probably what we're seeing for the increase. So do I think you need to go out and buy that Series 3 wax box right now for $900? Absolutely not. Stay patient, give it a few months. I think you will see these come down. Now, you know, I could be completely wrong about that. That is just my opinion. However, when we're talking about the original Series 2 wax packs, guys, you need to pick these up. Um, just like original series one, these are climbing in value and they're climbing at a trend of 30 to 50% year over year. So if you can find a good deal on these series two packs, find a good deal on a series two complete box, pick that up. If it's a, it, go ahead and do your research, make sure you know what they sell for, look at the recent solds, look at the last 60 days, but I don't think you're going to see much lower prices for these original Series 2 cards. Okay, so a lot of numbers. Let's do something fun. So I haven't opened up a rack pack before on my channel. And this is a jumbo pack. I've had it for a while. This is the 2014 Series 1. And we're going to look for special rare cards inside. So I don't, I'm not too lucky opening online with getting those special rare cards. But let me talk about this. Approximate odds of what you can find. Um, gold, 1 in 52. Printing plate, 1 in 380. C name short prints, 1 in 100. C name short print pr printing plates, 1 in 13,400. Audis autographs, 1 in 193. Locomotion cards, 1 in 12. Olympic bronze medal, silver medal, gold medal, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'm not going to worry too much about this packaging. I am more interested in what is inside of this. So let's tear this open and see what we get from this cool little rack pack or jumbo pack, however you want to call these. So the very first one, okay, very cool. So we got Run and Ricky. I have a plate of Run and Ricky. So really like that card. We got Fishbowl Phil, Adventure Tim, Tic Tac Joe. There's Feeding Fritz, his brother, Fallen Finn. Playful Pablo, <laughs> Bath Time, Temple Ron, Taste Bud, and Hydra. I know a few of you guys have seen my, uh, what is it, Serpent Sam or whatever uh, rainbow lot that I picked up a few videos ago. So very cool series one. Let's finish this bottom part. Maybe we're going to get lucky. I seem to think I see something in here. So let's be careful opening this up. Do you guys see that? I don't know what that is, but we will find out. So, <laughs> Freddy the 13th. I'm glad a slipper. Picked Barker. <laughs> Bad luck, Chuck. Gungan Kyle. <laughs> Show Dawn. All right, so this is a make up your own name Garbage Pail Kid card. So those are cool. Looks like we got another make up your own name Garbage Pail Kid card. We have Tape Tad. Looks like this is just going to be a black label. That's Bob, Sled, Ned. And the very fast uh, last card is Battled. Ruth or rattled Ruth, excuse me. So one thing we do want to go through is just look to see if we did have any C name short prints. So we've got 43 B. There's a B, A, B, A, A, A. The C name short prints are the easiest thing to miss. 
and they are pretty uncommon. So when you get those, you wanna make sure you put those in a nice protective sleeve. I don't think we got a C name short print in this opening, which is too bad, but hey, one of these days, I'm gonna get myself a C name short print <laughs> and feel special. So that was kind of fun. I enjoyed opening that pack. I think we've got enough time. Let's go ahead and crack open just one of these uh, brand new series two packs. So brand new series two, again, the odds on these are picking a black bordered one and two, gold bordered one and 70, um, foldy cards are one and four, glow into dark, you saw me pull one of those, one and six, sketch cards one and 757, and printing plates one and 2509. So, um, hey, let's open this up and see what we get. Nothing more fun than opening up packs of Garbage Pail Kids. Okay, so we got the Obama poster one, Booger Brock. We have Drummed Dennis. Licky Mickey, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? I think I see a locomotion card. <laughs> Pauline Pudding. Etched Eric. And we do have a locomotion card, so let's take a look at this. 3D trading card, number seven of 10. And let's see if I can, oh, it's a 3D, not a locomotion. All right, all right, kind of cool. Got a couple piranha problems. Okay, I live in the Midwest, that scares the heck out of me. All right, uh, <laughs> we got Shadow, Gargoyle Doyle. Got your nasty Nick right there and Dead Ted. Very cool. A lot of fun opening that Series 1. Maybe we'll do those other two packs in the next one. Nice to have a locomotion card, and of course we picked one of those black bordered cards from the 2014 Series 1. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please remember to hit that like button. Make sure you're, sure you're a subscriber for that 250 subscriber giveaway and that sealed pack of ninth Series, ninth series original series Garbage Pail Kid cards. I hope you enjoyed the video. You guys be good to one another. Take care, have fun, and bye.